Why I Love Australia by Bronwyn Bancroft Why I Love Australia Written and illustrated by Bronwyn Bancroft Published by Little Hair Books The acknowledgement reads As I painted the landscapes of this book it was as though I was travelling through the countries of other language groups. I wish to acknowledge the Aboriginal people who are custodians of these countries and to their descendants, past and present. Bronwyn Bancroft Big rivers shaped by mystical beams flowing from the mountains to the sea. Boab tree families, bountiful in shape, standing on the plains. Floating fields of billowing grasslands where eagles soar. Suburban homes that chatter under a patchwork of rooftops. Waves that pound beaches and make patterns with driftwood and shells. The soft edges of crusted salt pans that create drawings on the land. Modern city lights, like a jewelled necklace adorning an ancient landscape. The twisted trees and sandy soil of the bushland scrub in springtime. A bush cricket played on ants' nest pitches with friends and family any time any town. Beams of secret light and strong warrior trees of the rainforest. Gorges that plummet into serpentine shadows. Cloaks of white that drape the rocky crags of snowy mountains. Learning the desert sky by the warmth of an open fire. Shards of rainbow and swaying tentacles of watery light in a coral reef. Why I Love Australia. On each of the pictures in this book, you will see a picture of a person holding a coolamon, a kind of wooden bowl with smoke drifting from it. This picture represents the performance of the traditional Australian Aboriginal smoking ceremony. An understanding exists amongst Aboriginal people that one should show respect for another's language group area or country. It is considered essential to pay tribute to the ancestors of another Aboriginal person's traditional lands. One way of showing this respect is by taking part in a smoking ceremony. Smoking ceremonies clear away negative energy. They are usually conducted by a traditional elder, often using smouldering eucalyptus leaves in a kulamon. The smoke can be used to cleanse a space or to cleanse the land and it can also be used for cleansing individuals. People can walk through the smoke to immerse themselves in it or they can wave the smoke into their faces so that they get the maximum benefit from its cleansing effect. The person you see on each page is the host to each of the landscapes. He wishes you well as you visit his country and make your acknowledgements to the ancestors and elders, past and present, of each place. 
Bronwyn Bancroft was born in Tenterfield, northern New South Wales. Her father Bill was Bunjalung Jibun clan and her mother Dorothy is of Scottish and Polish descent. As well as being a children's illustrator, Bronwyn is a leading Australian artist and works in many different mediums. Bronwyn has illustrated several award-winning books for children. Some of her successful books with little hair are the highly acclaimed Possum and Washall, My Big Book of Australian Words, shortlisted Queensland Premier's Literary Award 2009, shortlisted Australian Bookseller Association Best Children's Book 2009, listed Children's Book Council of Australia Notable Book 2009, Malu Kangaroo by Judith Moorcroft, an Australian 123 of Animals and an Australian ABC of Animals. Her most recent publications are Sam's Bush Journey by Sally Morgan and Azaiko Kwayamalina and W is for Wombat. My first Australian word book, Bronwyn received the May Gibbs Fellowship from the John Keen Centre for Children's Literature in 2000 and was the recipient of the 2009 John Keen Medal.